Welcome to another segment of Character Origins, where I take a character of fiction and look at their origins, both biographical and conceptual. Well, I looked at the origins of the famous Batman villain, the Joker, and I guess it's time to look at his right-hand man, or woman. So, today I'll be looking at Dr. Harleen Francis Quinzel, MD, also known as Harley Quinn. In the pre-New 52 universe, Harley was a student at Gotham State University, with a scholarship for gymnastics. She became a doctor at Arkham Asylum, where she later met the Joker as his psychiatrist. The two formed a romantic connection, which the Joker abused to his own personal gain, and with that, Harley assisted in breaking the Clown Prince of Crime out of Arkham, and later becoming his sidekick in his clowny criminal activity, using makeup and a costume to get her Harlequin appearance. In the New 52, Harley was a Brooklyn native who became a doctor at Arkham. She conducted an experiment where she would assimilate herself into the mental patient population. This is how she met the Joker. Together, they escaped from Arkham. However, later that night, the Joker pushed Harley into a vat of chemicals similar to the ones that mutated himself, turning her into a similarly mutated individual, with bleached skin and red and black hair instead of green. Yancy! Originally, the character was designed to act as a bit part for the Joker, a small character with very little significance, by Bruce Timm and Paul Dini in the Batman animated series. She was inspired, in both appearance and personality, by Bruce Timm's friend, actress Eileen Sorkin, when she appeared in a dream sequence with a jester's costume in Days of Our Lives. However, despite being designed as a very small character with very little significance, Harley picked up quite a few fans, and therefore she became a major character and even got her own comic series. In a slightly more negative turn, the character, in certain lights, can be seen as a comic book writer's critique on domestic violence. Though yes, she and the Joker seem like a very happy and Bonnie and Clyde-esque couple, behind the scenes, the Joker is more of a sociopath who will often put Harley in the hospital, and even put her at the brink of death. And unfortunately, Harley will continue to come crawling, sometimes literally, back to him. This is reminiscent of the tragic real-life cycle of abuse. A spouse will go through some unspeakable trauma, often in the form of physical assaults, and return to their abuser in a moment of weakness. It's sad, and it truly is heart-crushing. On a much more upbeat note, I covered a bit more of her psychosis in my Batman Villains episode. It's a bit long, but I advise you watch it. The point is that this woman has an unhealthy obsession with the Joker. However, she has more recently gotten over him. Since the Joker's untimely death in the Death of a Family storyline, Harley has since replaced him with Deadshot and more recently Poison Ivy. Seriously, Jay? Erwin, it's the 21st century. It is very possible for two comic book characters of the same gender to be attracted to each other. The world goes on. Harley is a formidable Batman foe, using her skills in acrobatics and gymnastics to outmaneuver the Dark Knight. And she's even been able to outsmart him on a few occasions. Because you have to remember, she may be insane, but she's also a doctor. And on that note, Harley is hopelessly demented. Though, yes, she's able to hold down jobs and hold normal conversations, she will hit you over the head with a hundred pound mallet in the same breath that she'll tell you the time of day. She also has a habit of talking to animatronic beavers. In the media, Harley has had a vast menagerie of portrayals. She was first portrayed by actress Eileen Sorkin in the animated series and later in The Batman. She is also portrayed by Tara Strong in the Arkham games, and other multiple forms of media. And Hinden Walsh in Assault on Arkham. In the future, she will be portrayed by the Wolf of Wall Street's Margot Robbie in the 2016 Suicide Squad movie. The character acts as a sense of humor for avid readers, and a source of entertainment for those who just honestly want to see a scandally clad female character. And plus, she makes one hell of a cosplay costume. Yahtzee.